Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video remote reporting with Eclipse and VoiceMeter I'm going to show you how to set up Eclipse with the use of a free software called VoiceMeter to record and audio sync remote depositions. VoiceMeter is a free audio control software that handles multiple inputs and outputs smoothly and it allows you to record the sound that your computer is hearing and also record your own voice and everything that you need to do Zoom or WebEx along with doing real time in Eclipse on the same computer. This will prevent you from having to have two laptops and instead you can just plug in an extra monitor if you need a second screen real estate and this will give you much better audio than recording sound from speakers into a microphone or something like that. There's no extra equipment to buy and VoiceMeter itself is free. Installing VoiceMeter is simple and easy and I'm going to show you how to download and install it and set it up next. The first step to using VoiceMeter is to install it. So I'm going to open up my web browser and I'm just going to Google VoiceMeter because it's easy to find. So the first Google search result, or in this case Bing search result, is VB-Audio VoiceMeter and that's exactly where we can find it. So click on that link. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to click the install link under install voice meter on your PC, Windows PC and it says voice meter setup.exe next to it instead of .zip. So click install and I'm going to save the file and wait for it to finish downloading. Okay, and once it's done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and click on it to run it. And I'll hit yes to the Windows security warning and I'll click install. And, v and um, I'm going to get a warning indicating that I need to restart my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK to that. And I'll close out of the web page that it opened up. And I'll close out of this and I'm going to quickly restart my computer. I've restarted my computer and now we can configure VoiceMeter. I'll click start and scroll down to VB Audio and expand that and click on VoiceMeter. Before you open it, you can also right click on it and do pin to start to pin it to your start menu so that it's more easily accessible. And I'll click on VoiceMeter to open it and it will initialize. And the first thing you want to do the first time you use VoiceMeter is get a few menu items set up. So click menu and you want to make sure that auto restart engine is checked. You want to make sure that system tray is checked. Show app on startup is checked. And hook volume keys for level output A1 is checked. These options will make sure that voice meter always stays running when it's necessary and that your volume keys on your computer that you use already will work. In voice meter, it looks a lot more complicated than it is. There are only three options that we really need to worry about for a basic re reporting setup. In the top left under hardware out input 1 I'll click the drop down list and in this instance the microphone that I have available is from my Plantronics Rig 800 HX headset and that's what I'm going to choose. I'm always going to choose the MME device because it has higher memory available and it tends to perform better. So I'm going to choose the MME device for my microphone and after I choose the MME device for my microphone I'm going to uncheck channel A and this will prevent me from getting echoes and feedback in the recording from my own voice. Um, I'll still be recorded, however I won't hear myself. Hardware input 2, the second column isn't necessary, however if you had a second microphone you could set something up here. Virtual input is voice meter itself, you don't need to change anything here either. And then the last setting you need to worry about is hardware out, and this is what you're going to be listening through. If I click my drop down list, in this case I have a lot more playback devices available than I do microphones, but in this case I want to use my headset still. We do recommend using headphones or a headset with voice meter and with Zoom or WebEx or other remote reporting scenarios. You'll get better sound and it'll prevent any, any um, potential audio problems like echoes. So here again I'm going to choose the MME device rather than the WDM device and I'm going to choose the speakers for my headset which is the Rig 800. Now, now that I have everything set up you can see that voice meter is responding to my voice and that it's indicating that it's playing this sound out. Now I can go into Eclipse and get my settings set up for Eclipse. For this example I'm going to use version 9 of Eclipse. 
So I'll open V9 and choose my user. Next I'll go to my user settings under Alt U, real time tab, and then audio recording button. Here, for my audio device, it currently has my headset microphone selected. Normally that would be fine, but right now I want to set that to voice meter for remote deposition and re other remote work. So I'm going to click the drop down list and choose voice meter, and then I'm going to hit the levels button. This is going to take me to the Windows sound control panel, and in this window, my headset still has the green default device check mark, so I'm going to scroll down and find voice meter, and I'll right click and set that as my default playback device and then I'm going to right click it again and go to properties, advanced, and I'm going to uncheck allow applications to take exclusive control of this device and that's also going to disable the second option give exclusive mode applications priority. We don't want this checked with voice meter so I'm going to make sure these are not checked and hit apply and then OK and we're going to go to the recording tab and do the same thing. Again, my headset has the green check mark. We're going to choose voice meter instead. Right click, set as default recording device. Right click again, go to properties, advanced, uncheck exclusive mode options. Once that's been set, all I have to do is make sure that my compression settings are what I want in Eclipse. For this example, I'm going to set up to output to connection magic to my Scopus. So I'm going to choose GSM 6.10 and for my compression setting I'm going to choose 22.050 kilohertz. I will hit OK and make sure that it's still set to voice meter and hit OK again and now I'm set up to record audio. Now that Eclipse and voice meter are set up and configured to record for remote reporting I can start up, start up Zoom or my web meeting software of choice and make sure that it is set up too. Um, in this example, I'll use Zoom, but the same idea should be true of any other software. You want it to use Voice Meter as your audio devices. I'm going to go ahead and choose Join with Computer Audio since Voice Meter is my default Windows device for both playback and audio. But even though I know that's true, I'm going to check every single job next to the microphone here. I'll hit this arrow and choose um, under Microphone, select a microphone, I'll make sure that Voice Meter is selected, and under Select a Speaker, I'll make sure that Voice Meter is selected there as well. That'll make sure that Voice Meter hears everything that it needs to hear to route to Eclipse. If these are set to the wrong device, you may not get the proper recording in Eclipse. So this is very important. I recommend that everybody check that um, when they join the meeting, just to make sure that it'll be ready to go. And once you do that, you should be off and running and you shouldn't have any problems doing real time and recording everything from your meeting, including your own voice, and it'll all, all be audio synced. Thank you for watching this video about remote reporting with Voice Meter. This is just an easy, one computer, simple setup. If you have any questions about other setups for remote reporting, please feel free to give tech support a call. As always, you have access to any time 24-7 technical support, including holidays and weekends, and we can be reached at 1-800-800-1759 or 772-288-3266 for international callers. As always, we can be reached at support at eclipsecat.com for email. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.